This past year, the word of our church was healing. And we've been seeing God do some amazing things in our people's lives. Here's one person who received healing in their life. Check this out. Hi everyone, I'm Angie Wenhold, and today I wanna to talk to you about the journey that I've done in my life with healing. So an area in my life that needed a healing was dealing with anger. Now, I've been with LifeSpring since before LifeSpring was even thought of. I've been talking with Pastor Dan and Joanna, even from states away. So when I came back home, a lot had happened. I was getting married, I was having a baby, and just moving back to Florida was a big change. So I realized that a lot of anger was building up through this time. And when the beginning of the year for 2020, the word was healing. And that was such a strong word for me. It was something that I really needed to really focus on. So a part of me realized that a lot of the areas in my life that needed healing was just many areas. Things that from my childhood lead, led to my adulthood. And areas where I didn't even know I was angry. And I just thought it was normal behavior, which is something that is basically trained in your mind when you're a child. So at the beginning of the year, Pastor Glenn came and spoke to a lot of the group members and volunteers about anger and things that his story and his past affected him. And he stated how anger really portrayed a certain person and how everyone is affected. So God gave me this, that revelation that I needed to focus on where that anger was festering from. Go back to my childhood. Go back to why certain areas was making me a little bit upset and why I was reacting that way and how could I change my reaction. But when I went back and thought, what is really causing this anger? I realized it's not the people around me. It's something within me that I needed to heal. So I love the way that Pastor Glenn had made it out. That you just need to take a step back and realize what it is and deal with that healing. Now, the second best part of the year was the marriage conference by pastors Jeff and Lynn. That was the most heartwarming and touching conference for myself and my husband. And it was different for me because the way you communicate with family and friends is very different from how you communicate with your spouse. And my husband and I are two strong heads and we can go back and forth, but we had to learn how to communicate. And really this conference was to teach me how to deal with me and not how to change him, which is tough for people to understand, especially when you're newlyweds. And so after that marriage conference, my husband and I sat down and we realized that there's so much we know about each other and we're really good friends outside of our marriage. So why am I trying to change him when I love him for the way he is? And that took me some time and I healed from that and realizing that that's just a chain from the past, from past generations of having to change somebody to fit you when they're supposed to be who they are to fit with you perfectly. So that's why I wanted to share my story with you because as many of you know me personally, you know that this was a huge step and that I'm still working on this, but I can't be more grateful to LifeSpring because they took something that I didn't even understand or know was an issue. And as a church, we worked on it together. And I had the love and the support to deal with these areas. And just like anyone can be dealing with anything, healing is a number one priority because you cannot help others or minister to others or work in a church if your heart isn't healed. Because what you may show can be anger, for example. And I'm just so thankful that I was able to understand this anger and I was able to change the way I react to certain things. And I'm so grateful.